From the balcony of his apartment, a man gazes out at his city. Tyre, once renowned for its glittering waters and ancient ruins, now in ruins itself. Musa Saad has lived through many wars in Lebanon, but none like this. 25 years we have been here in Tyre, he tells us. An Israeli strike pulverized the next door building where his neighbors once lived. Their clothes still hang ghost-like in the closet. Imagine, a person was sleeping here. The building collapsed on them. Everyone died, a woman and her children, all of them dead. Why? For what, he says. America did this to us, not Israel. It's America that goes like this, like she didn't see anything and she didn't want to know anything. Lebanon is a country where loyalties are divided, but bitterness towards the West for its support of Israel is everywhere. In villages around Tyre, Hezbollah flags fly proudly. No community has been spared. The Melkite Greek Catholic Church had been a refuge for displaced people when it was hit by an Israeli missile on October 9th. Eight people were killed. 81-year-old church caretaker Milad Ilya has prayed here as long as he can remember. This is my house, he says. Next to the church, a mosque, connected by a shared hall for events. If our homes were hit and the church stayed, it would be better, he tells us. If the church is gone, there is no coexistence between people here. Tyre is one of the world's oldest inhabited cities, mentioned several times in the Bible. As the light falls, Kamal Istanbuli does what fishermen have been doing here for thousands of years. For 60 days during the war, Israel's military barred boats from going out on the water. Of course, it was tough, he says. We fishermen must work every day to feed our families. What's your dream for the future? We don't have a future here, he tells me. With Israel as your neighbor occupying your land, there's no future for you. There's just war after war, destruction after destruction, and the country collapses and collapses. A bleak outlook shared by many in this historic city, even as a shaky ceasefire continues to hold.